myself and Drews are going to be designing the perfect forward in the AFL. And we have categories of set shot, marking, goal sense, power, speed, flair, and athleticism. Do you want to start the design of your forward? Beautiful. I'm going to go athleticism. Oh, you bastard. Charlie Kano. <laughs> ah, that was the first one I had. One of the most freak athletes we've seen in the modern era as a forward. Genuine big key forward. Flies at packs. He's powerful, strong. He's just got everything. So, yeah, I had to take the best in the game. You've done well there. I said this with Will when I did this previously where we designed the perfect AFL player. You can have Charlie Kano in a lot of categories. Yeah. Um, so, it's, you've, it's good that you've nailed his attributes for athleticism. I'm going to go set shot and I'm going to lock in Tom Hawkins. Yeah, good call. <laughs> he knows his kick better than anyone else in the AFL. He's a dead eye dick. He gets better the further out he goes as well. So I love the big Tomahawk. Sticking on set shots, I'll stay there because I'm happy with my pick here. Tex Walker, I feel like he's one of the most reliable set shot kicks in the last 10, 15 years. Tom Hawkins is a good call, but I don't yeah. think Tex Walker would be too far behind him. Tex has the best left foot as well. Yeah. Either side of the body. Yeah, he can play on from the set shot. I know that's not the category, but he does that a few times and bangs him in on his left from 50. I'm going to go marking. Now, there's multiple guys you can go for marking, but I think there's one that's a level and a half above, and that's Aaron Norton. Damn it. <laughs> Aaron Norton um, clunk some light no other. If you had his attributes and then you subbed in someone else's kicking, you, you've got one of the best forwards we've ever seen, I reckon. All right, let's go with speed. Charlie Cameron. That man has some wow. serious legs. Yeah. Like, looks like he's taking four steps every time he sort of, I don't know, steps. He's, he's a quick boy, very quick boy. Yeah, Charlie Cameron, uh, the motorbike. Yeah. The West Virginia. Turns and burns up and down the field all day long. Not been the best one this year, but when he's on, no one can stop him. Jeez, there's a lot of categories to go. I'm going to go power. And he's a mid forward. And I think anyone in the power category will be a mid forward. I've got to get the red and blue in my play. I've got Petrarca. Yeah. That's yeah. the powerful mid forward. Um, there's four or five blokes in this category that I think anyone would pick from. And if you get any one of those guys, you've got a pretty special player. But um, Petrarca's the pick of the bunch for mine. Flair, it's got to be Isaac Rankin for me. Uh, he puts bums in seats, this man. Kicks him from everywhere. Can go into the middle. When you're looking for someone to win the game in the balance, I think the Crows look for Isaac Rankin. He's got a bit of Eddie Betts about him. Can, you know, finish it from either pocket. Can dance through packs. Um, yeah, Isaac Rankin for me. One of the most flary players in the league. Flair, Flair is great. I'm going to go with Flair as well. I'm going to go Jack Ginnivan. <laughs> <laughs> I rate it. <laughs> I don't think you get much more Flair than the man who um, throws darts after every every goal, the celebrations, and just the sort of riffraff that comes along with having Jack Ginnivan in your side. <laughs> I'm pretty content with that decision. Jeremy Cameron hasn't been taken for any category yet. He's one of the best players in the league. Initially, I was going to go uh, Ollie Henry for goal sense, but the fact that Jeremy Cameron's still on the board, I'm yeah. going to have to go with Jeremy Cameron. So uh, the multiple-time Coleman medal winning man probably has a better sense of goal than any other player in the league. Get in there, Jezza. Yeah, when you talk goal senses. That's exactly what I was thinking of there. He knows when to go to the snap. He can snap him from 45. Like, yeah. I was man. thinking him for power as well because, like, I know everyone thinks of the Dagoeys and the Dusties and the Petrarchas, but he's very powerful as well. I reckon you've gone wrong with power, but you go next and I'll I'll, I'll bring my power. We don't get much more powerful than the Petrarca man. But you do. You definitely do. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to go goal sense. I've got it out of Papley or Waitman. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Waitman over Papali. Uh, you know, Papali's a star. I love Waitman. He's yeah, one of my favourite cool. types of players. Like, growing up, I loved Dale Thomas. Um, Waitman's got the hair. He's got the flair. He takes the hangers, but then he kicks those goals as well. So, Cody Waitman is my goal sense attribute. Well, I'm thinking of power, right? When I think power, I think Charlie Dixon. Big, yeah. absolute brute. I remember him playing against Freo in the free season and he just ran through three of our players, tucked the ball under, and they were just bouncing off him. So if you've got the speed of Charlie Cameron and the power of Charlie Dixon, no one's stopping it. The two Charlies. <laughs> All right, I've got speed and athleticism to go. What have you got remaining? I've just got marking. i just got marking. Yep. All right, speed. I'm going to go with Toby Bedford. Pacey, yep. pacey man. Very, very quick. Um, I miss him at the red and the blue. Him going to GWS has sort of changed their makeup. Like, I know that they've got a super quick side from half back line through the midfield to the forward line, but it felt like getting pieces 
like him into their side really turned them from, uh, you know, I know it's the orange tsunami, but now it's just a ferocious orange tsunami. So a little bit of pace at Toby Bedford. I'm, I'm a happy, happy man. We've got Darcy Jones there as well. Daniels. Daniels. We've got a few of those types. And then they? their midfield, like, oh, well, Ash off the half back line, Callahan through the middle, Kelly. Like, yeah. it's it's a pacey, pacey lineup. Build the perfect team and you'd have 22 GWS folks <laughs> <Yeah>. out there. <laughs> this is my last one. Marking. I'm going to go with Isaac Heaney. Just wow. good one on one player, can take a hanger. I'm not thinking like big contest. Like pound marks. for pound, he's he'd be up there. Yeah, I reckon. Um has he taken mark of the year before? He did over Jesse Hogan. There you I go. was there, he flew over his shoulders. Beautiful. Imagine a big, powerful Charlie Dixon with the marking ability of <laughs> Isaac Heaney. <laughs> the, the pace of um, Charlie Cameron. Oh my goodness. But he set shot of Tex Walker. You're not stopping this man. Athleticism of Gerno. <laughs> yeah, far <laughs> out. This kid's a gun. <laughs> All right, I've got athleticism and maybe it's recency bias. Um I'm going to give a few honourable mentions because I love a Ollie Henry style. Like I like, yeah. I like stringy mediums. Yeah. Like um, I know he's sort of Voldemort these days, and we can't say his name. But Joel Smith, I love the <laughs> sort of athleticism and the attributes that he has. The one ninety five lean, nah, smaller. I like, I like one ninety. Yeah. At, but they are lean. Like Ollie Henry is my favourite type of athleticism. Jai Amos areas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've gone with someone smaller, but equally as athletic. Um, and pound for pound, probably one of the best in the league is Jamie Elliott. Yeah. Oh, all right. He jumped over Ben McKay. <laughs> well, I think... And his pace. Yeah. I like, in terms of athleticism, I like Jamie Elliott. I reckon you could find a forward with a better athletic profile than Jamie Elliott. But that's your choice, mate. He can jump. He can, he can run. Yeah. I'd say like a Shea Bolton's probably a bit more yeah, athletic. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He probably would be. <laughs> Tom Papley, maybe. I wouldn't say Papley's more athletic. No, he can't no, jump as not. high. Yeah, no, true. When I think, I think jump. I think. Yeah. Like, so Shea Bolton's definitely a great shout. Um, Ollie Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd take Ollie Henry over Jamie Allen every day of the week. All right. To wrap up, let's go from top to tail in order. Set shot. I've got Tom Hawkins. Tex Walker. Wow. Marking, I've got Aaron Norton. Isaac Heaney to take screamers all day long. <laughs> Goal sense, I've got Cody Waitman. Jeremy Cameron, multiple-time common medalist. For power, I've got Christian Batraka. Charlie Dixon runs through him all day <laughs> long. No worries. Speed, I've got Toby Bedford. Charlie Cameron, literally one of the fastest players in the land. Flair, I've got Guinea. Isaac Rankin, showstopper. For athleticism, I've got Jamie Elliott. I've got Charlie Kerno, one of the best players of the generation. Can't go wrong. My forward's kicking more than yours. I don't think so. I, I think reckon. mine, oh, dead eye dick, just slotting goals, taking marks, zigzagging in and out. Cody Waitman, goal sense. <laughs> oh, I'm stoked with my player. Uh, comment down below who you think has the better forward. Who would you select in your side? Comment down below who your perfect forward would be as well. Mm. Whose would be better? And then... If you do anything differently, let us know. We appreciate the support and we'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.